everybody. Um, for this video, I want to do something. Uh, I want to look at something here. Um, I want to look at uh, these LCD panels. Uh, this one in particular, um, I bought this well some time ago, but they are still for sale. It's the uh, MCU Friend um, dot com uh, Chinese, you know, three and a half TNT, TFT LCDs um, for the uh, Arduino 2560. This one has the ILI9327 driver in it, um, and it this one is extremely finicky, uh, very very hard to deal with on on this one. And this one actually runs on a modified UTFT library. Uh, the other one I want to look at because it's a similar driver set uh, is this one here. This is a 3.2. Um, inch LC, uh, LCD. Uh, it's an ITD B02 shield. Um, it's made by IT Studio, uh, and it has the ILI9341 uh, driver in it. Now, a lot of these things have very, very similar display drivers in them, and they can be. You can tweak uh, the UTFT. Uh, library to work on these things. This one in particular is modified. There was, uh, from what I understand, there's some registers uh, that had to be changed from the original UTFT uh, to make this one work. This one, however, um, there are there's basically two options on this one. Uh, one of which will run directly off the UTFT library, but with a completely different driver oddly enough uh, but uh, I'm gonna go through this on the software side I'm gonna hook this up we're going to program them and I'll show you how to get these guys running first of all let's let's get this one going here uh, just as a reference I ordered uh, three of these things or actually four of them um, one of them came in pieces uh, I was all torn up and ripped apart uh, and then I have two of them that are very much like this, that had they had poor wrapping, and this one uh, has gouges in it, and this one actually has a crack in the touch screen. You can kind of just see it right there. I only got one good one out of this that is usable. All the rest are, well, I guess it'd be good for display, but the touch does not work on this one. Of course, this one is useless. But, uh, just a word to the wise in ordering some of this Chinese stuff. Uh, let's just get this guy on here. All right. Now the other real good thing about this, this does have decent resolution um, for a, si a screen this size. This is actually. Um, 320 by 480 so decent decent resolution whereas this one which is just a tiny bit smaller this is only a 320 by 240 so much better resolution than this one so if these can you know if you can get these running uh, these are actually pretty good little displays anyway I digress uh, all right first thing let's get this guy plugged in Okay, and we've of course got us a nice little white screen. Let's let's set this up so that we can get a live shot as to what happens on the screen here. Give me a second to get this maybe functioning. There we go. All right, so let's go over here to the computer. All right. First of all, what we need to do is uh, we need to get and our libraries set up into our uh, our sketchbook for our our uh, Arduino IDE. So what you want to do is you want to go to your sketchbook wherever you put your sketchbook, go to libraries, open that up. Now there are some stuff in here like there is a UTFT. Uh, folder in here. This is the the original UTFT that had that came from um, 
basically well, the, the website is www.rinkydinkelectronics.com and I will put the link down here so you can see that as well so um, you want to go there download the library unzip the library and then just transfer it over to here okay so you have your library in here next thing you want to do is you're going to pull up your um, your IDE you want to go down to file go to examples go down here to UTFT now we're going to be doing uh, Arduino AVR and we know that this particular LCD has a 320 by 480 or 480 by 320 however you want to write it um, so we're going to pull that up once we pull that up this is just basically a demo um, this kind of gives you an idea of what all the different things that you can do with it uh, but the big thing we're going to concentrate on right now is how to get this set up and running um, now if we do this with the virgin um, UTFT what's going to happen is let's do this I L I nine three two seven okay so that is the actual driver that uh, would work on this if it if it was in here but here we go let's do a verify it's going to compile the sketch Give it a second. Maybe more than just a second. Okay, this is getting really, really slow. Okay, it's done compiling, so it's all good. Now, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to go down here to uh, Tools, make sure your board is connected and make sure you have uh, selected the correct board okay once you've done all that make sure of that which sometimes you can't compile it correctly without that but you know we just want to check the code so here I'm just going to upload and of course it's going to recompile the sketch again um, and then it's going to upload and once it's done up uploading We'll watch the uh, the LCD, and as soon as it says done uploading, which is now, you notice nothing happened. We got a blank screen, just white. So we know this isn't going to work. So this is the stock UTFT. So we're going to get back over here. We're going to shut down the IDE, and we're going to go over. Now I have all this back. I have well, I have the ones I added in backed up so I'm just going to delete this folder and I'm going to come over here and the one that I'm looking for is this one the UTFT master okay this is the one that has been changed for or it's modified specifically for this LCD so I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste it over into my library Okay. Now once it's pasted, I can fire up the Arduino IDE again. And anytime you do anything with the libraries, you've got to restart your IDE um, so it can reread all the libraries. So now we're going to go back over here to examples, go all the way down to UTFT master, same thing, Arduino AVR. And we're going to go up to our 480 by 320. <clears throat> all right now we're going to do this again now on this one this is a modified library <clears throat> so we're going to have ili 9327 underscore 8 now that will put this into the correct uh, mode and it should be set up for the the driver so now we're compiling. Now we'll watch the LCD and see if we get a change this time. Still compiling. Okay. Uploading. 
and we're done and look at that we got a display and that is what the demo is supposed to look like so this takes a custom library a lot of these type of boards do require this library to work um, all the ones that I have that are of this this these cheap Chinese style will take this driver so just kind of keep that in mind now for the second one it actually gets a little bit well it's kind of a little bit easier but we're gonna go over that too so we're gonna swap out boards here real quick okay we're gonna get the little guy in here I know by the way both of these have the SD card right this one you have to do some special jump through some special hoops to try to get this done but this one's actually a little bit easier to get and I'll, I'll show you that here in a second it actually takes an extra library to get this one functioning with the demo code that they have <clears throat> all right so we're all together Let's plug it in same thing here Okay, and I'll show you something really interesting on this guy. Uh, getting a little light. Uh, let's do it like that. There we go. Okay. So we're going to go back over here to our... Back here on the screen. So we got... I don't know where about any of that. <clears throat> so, like I said, um, what I do when I'm messing around with this is I just copy things over. I don't just move it. So I can just go ahead and just keep it clean in my library. So I'll delete this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put um, the standard UTFT in. So I'm going to paste that. Okay, so we have that in there. Now, the other thing that this thing's going to require is that there is a demo file and it is on the IT website and it is this file right here um, I'll put a link across the screen here for you to, to see but this is the actual file alright that's what we're going to be opening but in order to open this we're going to have to have another library installed and this is going to have to be the SD fat so when you download this SD fat um, right here SD fat mas uh, master which comes from github greenman SD fat I'll put a link down here and you download that once you download it you open it up okay there's several in here you're gonna want to get this guy right here SD fat so copy and plop this down over here now now we're ready to open up the demo file now this is a demo file that comes directly from the manufacturer I don't like it that well but I'm going to show you anyway so if you want to do it use it you know right ahead what we're going to do is we're going to open up this right here and it's an old PDE file but you know it works okay we don't have to change any of the settings on this leave it exactly the way it is and then we're going to just upload it now if you're running on some systems you might have to change your COM port every time you upload or you close it and you open it uh, for whatever reason this seems to, to hold on the same port although I don't have anything else hooked up right now so that might be the reason why it stays on the same COM port but let's watch this as soon as it hits and compiles uploading and we'll see what kind of a change all right we got a response on the display and yeah that's it um, I believe that there's a section missing out of this demo I couldn't I, I'm not for sure but I think that you're supposed to have a certain certain files on the SD and an SD card loaded into it and these would be images off of that SD card I believe I'm not 100% sure but as this is, it just alternates between gray and black. That's all it does. Okay, that's with the code from the manufacturer. 
So let's do something else. Let's see what would happen if we use a UTFT um, example like we just did on the other board. So let's go over here to UTFT, the Arduino AVR, and we are at a re resolution of 320 by 240. 320 by 240. Okay. Now, down here, there is not a driver built into you. The, the 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 actual stated driver does not is not in the UTFT library. But if you use the SSD 1289 library, then We'll upload this thing. Okay, now we're uploading. We should see a completely different response on the screen now. There we go. Look at that. And that looks like a decent display. So this is one of those those ones that it it, it to me it looks great. I mean all the edges look good. I, I, I don't see any problems with any of this. Um, and U Touch usually works on this stuff no problem because they all have they almost all have the same uh, touchscreen controllers. It's just a matter of the distance and the landscape or whatever the case may be. The touchscreen usually is very, very easy on these. The main thing is getting the driver chips working. So that's kind of an idea on these cheap Chinese chips on what can be done. Now, there, you can play around with the UTFT. You can also find the modified uh, libraries. There's a few of them. Like I said, I'm going to put uh, these... Uh, Put the web uh, the links uh, on the screen and in the comments below and uh, hopefully that helps uh, some of you guys out uh, one in particular um, you know thanks for contacting me hope this helps you on your project um, and if anybody else needs any help or anything I can do for you please let me know and as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you didn't give me a thumbs down and let me know why uh, also if you like my channel please subscribe Thank you to everyone that has subscribed. This channel has kind of started to take off, and I'm, I'm really impressed. And I'm going to start doing more of these videos, um, and um, just going to build some stuff and put some things together, and uh, that's what people seem to like. So uh, until next time, guys, take care.